There are loads of parts on our bikes which are made from metal or some sort of alloy, and whilst these offer fantastic strength and resistance to wear, they are susceptible to corrosion. So in this maintenance video, we're going to show you how to keep your bike rust free. First up, we need to know what rust is and how it's formed. And rust is what we typically refer to as the oxidization process, and that's the reaction between a metal and the oxygen in the air around us. And whilst the oxidization process on common metals that we see is typically very slow, if you add a catalyst into that, such as moisture or water, then that process speeds up rapidly. And it's the reason why if we leave our chains wet overnight, when we go to them the next day, they're covered in rust. But if our chains were dry, they'd be perfectly fine, even if it had no oil or lubrication on it either. So if we keep our parts free from moisture, then we can stop the oxidization process or rust happening. But our bikes are exposed to the elements and have to be protected from friction and wear as well. And that is where grease, lubricants and anti-corrosion sprays come into it. There are certain products which are great for some parts of your bike, but dreadful for other areas. And grease is one example. Whilst it's great for our bearings and other components that require it, it's actually pretty rubbish for our chain. So it's important to use the correct products in the correct places. So let's have a look at the next. Grease comes in many different types, be that thick, thin, heat resistant, anti-corrosion, even eco-friendly. But the type that we most commonly use on our bikes tends to be quite thick and will generally stay where you put it, be that in your wheel bearings, for example. You don't need to apply loads of grease, just a thin layer is okay over the component that you fit in. And this will help keep the moisture out, help reduce friction, and also help slow down that oxidization process. And whilst over time it will wash out, it should last long enough to go in between bike services. Chain lubes, whilst these are intended for your chain, they do work perfectly well in other areas, such as your gear and brake cables to help keep those running smooth too. Chain lubes do tend to be thinner or runnier than grease, and that's why you need to be careful when applying them to make sure you don't get any excess in areas that you don't want it and wipe off the excess. And a correctly lubricated chain will not only last longer, but will stay rust free too. When your chain gets grubby, make sure you give it a good clean and then dry it off and then you can re-lubricate it. And if you've been out on a wet ride and your bike's filthy dirty but you can't wash it straight away, then simply wiping your chain over with an old cloth and drying it off nicely should mean that when you go back to it to wash it later on, it's rust free still. Anti-corrosion sprays come in lots of different types and generally they're in an aerosol can. And whilst these are great at driving out the moisture from hard to reach areas after you've washed your bike, you have got to be mindful where you spray them, particularly you want to avoid your brakes. And whilst these aren't intended specifically as lubricants, they do reduce friction slightly, but just be mindful because they are very thin or runny, which means they're not going to stay put for very long. Typically, after most bike washes, I'd use a spray like this to help drive out any moisture of parts I can't quite access and dry fully. And I'd pay particular attention to some of the pivot points in your derailleurs and any hard to reach areas that contain bolts, which tend to hold moisture a little bit more. When you are spraying some of these products, it's a great idea to have a cloth nearby to cover the area you're spraying so you don't have any overspray going anywhere. And then it means you can easily wipe off any excess so it doesn't go into places that you don't want it. So there you have it, three ways to keep your bike rust free and ready for your next adventure. I hope you've enjoyed this video and why not let us know if there are any other maintenance videos that you'd like to see in the comments section down below. Oh yeah, and don't forget, consider subscribing to GCN Tech and hit the bell icon so that you stay up to date. See ya!